What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to Setting the Stage. In this episode, I have good news and bad news. On the good news side of things, I did exactly what I said I'd do back in, um, uh, uh back in, uh, uh, setting the stage, uh, joint base, uh, uh, uh kill a November, and, uh, I went back to the, um, uh, to the, uh, uh, Bastion Remnant to collect my things back up. And look into those chests and see um, uh, what I uh, could see in the chests. Now, when I say I got my stuff back, take it with a grain of salt because uh, I didn't get very much back, mind you. A majority of it uh, fell into the lava, as I predicted. So, I am um, uh, head on through uh, this area and uh, I... Uh, try and find the safest way down, pushing a, um, a piglin down in the process, and uh, uh, having taken very little damage on my way down, I grab all the stuff back, which isn't all that much, almost a whole um, uh, hot bar full um, out of the um, inventory I had back in um, Joint Base uh, Kilo November. But, the, um, the fact of the matter is, I am um, uh, head on over here, and, uh, and uh, uh, briefly decided, uh, uh, briefly, um, uh, briefly uh, figured I would just uh, get on out of there. But, uh, I then um, had decided that I was going to um, uh, see what was in those chests, and, uh, uh, see, um, and see what, uh, uh, just, so, uh, in the chest, I found some diamonds, uh, some diamond armor, some iron, and uh, all sorts of stuff, um, but uh, uh, the most notable thing is uh, I found a brand new element in one of those chests called netherite. Um, I've heard of it from um, I've heard of it from Raven, but um, the what I've uh, heard about it is. Um, it's pretty much the toughest material in the in the world. So um, at one point, I'll have to um, um, gather some more up and make some uh, you know, weapons and armor out of it. But um, you know, for right now, I just decided to uh, pack up these chests that I just looted and move on with the rest of the whole thing. On the bad news side of the spectrum, now that I've shot down two of their UFOs, I have started getting visits uh, from uh, uh, some old friends, or air quote friends, from um, uh, the country that um, we're currently um, uh, preparing to um, um, uh, take down. So, um, I took down that one with the... Um, uh, the flag, the captain, and then I took down his, uh, uh, soldier. So, there we go. That's, uh, that news out of the way. So, that's the situation. Alrighty, now, let's go on ahead and, uh, get on with today's project, which just so happens to be, um, uh, the Questopia Underground. What that means is, this is going to be a subway system that's going to be um, uh, connecting um, you know, one part of my world to another um, you know, within about uh, 500 meters. So, one of the things that that uh, turns out to mean is, um, the... 
it's going to be a, um, a slightly faster way to travel than on foot. Um, not by much. Um, uh, you can sprint, I think, faster than you can go over there. But at the same time, it used to be a faster method of transport. So... Let's just say that we're building this thing in its heyday. Even though that's technically not true. Anyway... Let's move on to the... Uh, 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 the... Uh, the project at hand. So, right away I can see that, um, uh, this and the... Uh, that this and this bunker over here is going to probably start competing for, um, uh, space here in a little bit. And due to the fact that, uh, this is a, um... A project, um, uh, that uh, I'm going to, um, be keeping... Yeah, uh, that means that uh, uh, Questopia Underground would win that uh, uh, competition hands down. But uh, we'll see if it uh, comes to that, or uh, or if uh, the bunker will um, inevitably be safe. I'm kind of counting on the bunker being safe, honestly. Because, um, it's just... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna check and see on my, um, uh, on my, uh, cl uh, on my screenshots, uh, where I need to go. Okay, so I need to go down about three more. Nine. Ooh, iron ore, nice! Eight, and seven. So, after going down to this level, I can start uh, moving downwards uh, deeper in this direction. So, I'm going to check my um, uh, screenshots again. Alright, I go back to uh, 56 then. Alright, is that it? Was that up at uh, 56 or am I, um, am I tripping here? Yep, it says exactly 56. So, I'm going to go back to 56 down here, and then um, make my way um, uh, down and uh, kind of do like a, um, you know, one of those uh, staircases that just wind back and forth um, until they um, uh, get down to um, uh, where they're um, uh, taking you. In this case, into the subway station. So, I can already see some uh, copper here. Another um, uh, part of the um, Caves and Cliffs update. At this point, um, in this particular world, um, I have given up on um, trying to hide anything from you guys because um, there's really no point. I um, just dug into the deepest... <laughs> Uh, a stronghold I had ever dug into. So, really and truly, there's no real point. Anyway, let's go on back to the clips, or screenshots, to see where I'd go next. Right after I do this. Alrighty. So I need to go back down to 47. That is how much that is, right? So, pretty much, it goes all the way through, um, uh, the, um, uh, two, um, end points, um, at least three times. And then, once it, uh, finally makes its, uh, final, um, um, uh, bit, I'm going to, um, uh, put in the station itself. And, uh... Yeah. Okay, right here. And then I go down once more. And 
I believe the level that I'm digging down to is 80. Well, uh, 30. But let's see what the screenshot has to say. Yep, I need to dig straight down to 30. Um, well, not straight down. Um, nah, I would do so um, when I start uh, putting in the water elevator. But, um, I need to go down to 30 uh, via this uh, staircase here. And uh, then make the uh, whole station itself. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mine away some of this iron, because uh, it is uh, probably going to come in handy later on. But, um, honestly speaking, I don't know um, uh, when or if. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plaster this back. Get it back up here, like so. And then, and like I said before, I'm going to uh, dig away all of this uh, iron and uh, yeah, just basically um, yeah, see um, yeah, what else I need to do on the, uh, on the situation. And uh, whilst I'm um, uh, doing that, uh, since I um, uh, didn't uh, take a screenshot of that, uh, like a total buffoon, I'm gonna have to um, look back through it and see um, where the um, where the uh, the start of the track goes, uh, so to speak. Like, uh, where's the button go? Where's the um, uh, where's the and. Uh, a powered rail go that is beneath said button and that's uh that's the real uh thing that i um, need to uh, bear in mind whilst uh, making this ride so i got him out of the hole um and i'm just going to patch this up like so and I forgot that uh, I normally set this to normal mode for um, entertainment value. But for right now, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, save this clip and uh, move on to phase two of building the subway. Alrighty, and we're back. So, now... I'm going to head on down to the um, depths, as it were, and I am going to um, make a start on the um, uh, station itself. So, right here, I believe it goes about 30 out, or 3 out. 30 out would be outrageous. And I think it's four um, to the left as well. Ish. Alright. Alright, so yes, I, uh, I'm not really that, uh, I'm not really that prepared for the thing, but come on. I believe that is where um I will um uh, put the um uh, the tunnel entrance um on that side and that side. So I'm gonna check on my clip and see um if I'm right, and then I'm going to move on with uh, uh with phase three. Okay, everything is right except for the height of the ceiling. So, easily fixed, easily fixed. I'm just going to go on ahead and uh, patch this up. All except for this one right here. And uh, now, I can put a doorway here. And then, I don't have a chest, so 
I don't really uh, have uh, much of a way to do much else. So let's get on with the um, main thing. And so that goes up. So I want to say that 500 would be 3856. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rail right there. And then I'm going to start mining away and all of this stuff until I get to uh, said uh, X grid. And then once I get through with that, phase four will be the tracking phase. The official tracking phase. Where I set the tracks uh, all the way across to uh, from one side to the other. And I will need to, um, I will need to, um, eventually, um, start, um, uh, seeing, um, uh, where it's, um, uh, ten away from each other. And then, um, uh, once I, um, uh, get through with that, we can, um, move on to, um, uh, the next step actively testing uh, the thing to see um, how well it works. All right. If I could uh, uh, if I could show off achievements on this series, I would have showed uh, I would have showed me um, uh, getting um, on the rails in my um, in my um, main survival world, um, uh, which is essentially a copy of this world. Um, well, this is a copy of it, more accurately. As, um, I'm just rebuilding uh, this world, um, slightly differently, I might add. Um, and to basically, um, uh, get the, um, uh, uh, to basically tell the story. Whoa. Okay. That needs to go. Alrighty. So, I just need to, and uh, uh, keep going on this, and, uh, if, uh, if that, uh, If that torch is on the floor, I'm gonna have to move that, too. And, uh, now on the topic of torches, sorry that I haven't been placing any, and that you've, uh, basically been, um, um, uh, uh, staring at darkness uh, for a few minutes, but, um, yeah. Now, we are, um, uh, basically just going, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pop this here. All right. So, my next thing is, for one thing, making new pickaxes, because I'm pretty sure I don't have any right now. All righty, so... Just kind of make a uh, crafting table to and put somewhere. All right, this right here. Um. All right. So set this right around here, I guess, for now. And then. Okay. Another thing that I'm going to have to note is um. For one thing, how much time I'm spending on this, and for another, two, three, four, and four, okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For another thing, I'm gonna need to um, figure out um, how I'm going to um, 
get a pickaxe when my inventory is so chock full that uh, I cannot even hold one. And I'm going to have to make the entrance of the, um, I'm going to have to make the, um, that the subway station actually look like a subway station instead of just being a, um, whoa, instead of just being a, um, a, a big uh, hole in the ground, or rather, a relatively small hole in the ground, but a hole in the ground nonetheless. So, the, um, the main, um, uh, the main thing about this is, um, ow, dang. It, that just went from uh, zero to a hundred real quick. Okay. Alrighty. And there's another spider. Dead gum you. And, ow. Okay, good thing that did not hit the chest. That would have been bad. Alrighty. Let's go on ahead and uh, get to bed. And then, uh, in the morning, uh, we can uh, go on ahead and uh, start up with uh, the, um, with the, um, uh, with the entrance to the whole place. So, before I start, um, any of that, I need to, um, you know, put some stuff up that I do not need. Like, um, you know, this iron ore that I just mined. Um, some extra cobblestone, I'll keep a stack on me. Um. And then... Alright. Name tags generally, um, can spawn in, um, in chests. As a matter of fact, I believe they, uh, they were in a chest. Uh, uh, that was in a chest. So, um, and yes, I did find a mine shaft outside of video. Um, I, um, I was, uh, actively looking for one to make my job, uh, uh, with these, uh, tracks that much easier. Alright, so, and uh, the reason why I did it outside of video is because I'm trying to make a, an, a focused series of, um, uh, of uh, building projects and uh, other sorts of stuff just to conserve space on my system because, um, as you may well know from the, um, uh, from the uh, last few episodes, um, um, well, I'm not sure if I made uh, specific mention of it yet, but I had to do a, um, a pretty big, um, editing and uh, deleting operation just to get an update of uh, Fortnite on for myself and Jester to play. So, yeah. That was not fun. So, I have been, um... Uh, I have been trying to, um... Uh, keep the, um... I've been trying to keep the, um... I've been trying to, um, uh, keep these, uh, relatively focused and to the point. And, uh, if you're, um, not a big fan of, uh, focused and to-the-point episodes, um, uh, for a while this ch uh, channel won't be for you. But, um, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, the Fortnite content that I and Jester do, um, will make up for that, um, tunnel vision, uh, shall we, uh, uh, call it. So... Now, let's go on ahead and, uh, get back to work on the subway. And, uh, we'll see, um, at the end of this if it needs to be split into multiple parts. But, um, for the most part, um, I think that we're good. 
<laughs> like, it's just a straight line track, um, uh, from, um, uh, one end to the other. And, uh, we'll see what, uh, happens from there, um, by the end of this. The, um, main goal is to get this track from, um, uh, 3356 to 3856. And, uh, that, um, is going to be, um, that's gonna be the easy part. And the hard part is going to be to, um, is going to be to, um, actually manage to, um, uh, keep this thing from, um, uh, getting blown up by, um, monsters before it's complete. Because afterwards, uh, it's going to be lit up like a Christmas tree, and, uh, and, uh, just basically, uh, be the safest means of transportation. And, uh, honestly speaking, that's the real, um, uh, charm of the Questopia Underground. Since it's all lit up like this, it is the safest way to travel. So, you may be sacrificing, um, uh, speed, but you can be rest assured that you will get to the, um, end of this in one piece, or I will, um, not know what to think of you. Like, um, the only way you could possibly die in here is if you, um, is if you, um, uh, stood out of the minecart, and by some freak accident, it, uh, it throws you out against the wall, and, uh, and you're just, uh, suffocating. That'd be the only way that you could die. And even then, um, it's not a very quick death, so you can just, uh, get out of there and, uh, and be okay afterwards. So, like I said before, this is the safest way to travel. It may not be the quickest, but you won't be, um, having to worry about mobs, um, down here. That much I personally will, um, make sure of. Alright. So I'm hearing some mobs right now. So, I'm gonna have to very quickly, um, uh, get some, um, uh, get something done about it. Okay. Dark, get out of here. You're not welcome in here, stupid zombie. Alright. Granite. Alrighty. The, um, the zombie would be welcome if it didn't attack people. But since it does, I had to get rid of it and uh, ban it off the tracks. We can um, we can think, uh, think of them as uh, uh, train robbers that want your brain. And uh, honestly enough, um, Aside from a few, um, interesting, um, uh, things uh, that they do, um, uh, that seem smart, it's not really much of a wonder why uh, the zombies uh, want our brains so much. Because, uh, honestly speaking, and uh, besides, uh, uh, stepping around the uh, uh, pits, um, uh, that, um, that could potentially lead to their death. They have a pretty single-minded, um, uh, uh, a pretty single-minded pursuit of uh, whatever target they're chasing, whether it be you or a visitor, or a blah, a villager. I meant to say. So, um, yeah. That's, uh, that's the, and that's that, uh, uh, taken care of, I guess. Let's move on to the, um, uh, rest of the whole thing. 
just basically get on with it and uh, get it done. Alrighty. So, I am at uh, 3532, so I need three more. Well, it would be three more at uh, 3556. And I just got some gra uh, uh, copper here. Nice. Okay. Just get this out of the way. And move on. Okay. Oh boy. I'm all- I already have a full inventory again. Okay. So. It's not too much further before, um... I'm going to be, um, uh, going for, um, uh, 300 more blocks. Um, like, in the three blocks, uh, 303 blocks, uh, right here. That's, uh, how much I need left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, uh, uh resume, uh, lighting up the tunnel like so. And then, I'm gonna go and grab me another pickaxe. Because that one just ran out. I'm also gonna have to uh, clear out my inventory for um, uh, some of this stuff. Because um, copper is actually pretty helpful in some senses. Like, you can make a lightning rod and a spyglass out of them. Um, the, um, uh, the thing about it is... Um, Uh, up until um, uh, the um, uh, deepest uh, uh, stronghold, the ruin portal, and everything, um, I was just trying to um, hide the caves and cliffs and uh, uh, future update features. Basically just to tell the story uh, from the um, uh, time period that I had back in the Wii U edition. Uh, where um, uh, it was... Uh, uh, fairly limited resources, uh, and then built up to, um, uh, the pretty large amount of resources we have now. I'm just basically, um, uh, uh, I'm just basically showing this off and saying, hey, this is where I came from, and this is how I ended. Like, uh, that's, uh, basically, um, uh, the story that I'm trying to tell here. So, for example, this came from a later update entirely, but I'm keeping it here because I've already showed it off, and on top of that, I have also, um, uh, shown that much later updates, uh, in, um, in, uh, both, uh, past and, um, uh, well, in past videos. So, yeah. Well, what I was going to say is, um, both, pra uh, both past episodes and this one. So, I guess what I could do is uh, eat all this uh, rotten flesh and gain all my um, uh, uh, health back. And, uh, uh that would uh, clear up that room. And then... I could, uh, 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 fill this up, uh, so that, um, uh, so that, uh, uh, I won't fall into a big pit. Leastways until another creeper comes along and blasts it open. So, general stone, uh, general cobblestone will go into the chest. Um, all except for one measly stack. That's the stack that I'll be using to, um, uh, to make my pickaxes. Alright. And then... Oh, wait. Genius. You, uh, put in the, um, the, the very thing that was going to help you make the pickaxes in the first place. The planks <laughs> that turn into sticks. So, now we can move on to the next part, assuming we have the time to do so. Alrighty, that seems to be about it for this episode. 
join me in the next one where I continue work on the uh, Questopia Underground. In the meantime, though, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Until then, adios, amigos.